Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Today we have an update on Shirayuki Tomoe. Shirayuki Tomoe is a Japanese virtual idol, uh, virtual YouTuber with Nidhi Sanji. And they started with Fuaminato in about 2019 or so. They had, I had covered them before. This is an update on what I had covered before on them taking a bit of a hiatus. And this is, you know, them updating everyone on what's going on. They said, we will be taking a break from streaming for a while, but appreciate it if you take a look at it. Projects, events, videos will proceed and appear scheduled. In addition, YouTube memberships and Shida Yukitomoe fan club site will continue to operate. We will provide further information on each content. And of course, you have the full thing down here, which I have translated for you guys, because of course, you, as long with along with myself, cannot read Japanese. So here we go. Thank you for your continued support, this Shideo Kitomoe. I thought I would be able to start streaming this weekend, but it's not going to be possible. I know that you're all waiting for me because she had been on hiatus for a bit, but I'm really sorry that I can't respond to your feelings. I thought that the time I took off would only make people worry, so I wanted to start streaming as soon as possible, and I was working hard and positively towards that goal. But the truth is, I've been going through a lot of hard times lately. And every time I try to overcome something, I just kept running into new hardships, which are all external factors that I couldn't do anything about. And my mind and body are completely exhausted, causing all kinds of abnormalities. This is Shiriki's current state. Now, I won't go too far into what this might be, but it could very well be something related to Nidhi Sanji, or it could be something not related to Nidhi Sanji. It could be something in their personal life. If it is something in their personal life, then of course, no one should dig any further. Even if it is something in Nidhi Sanji, no one should dig any further. Kept writing and erasing my honest thoughts like this over and over again. I don't think it's good for me, an activist who should be delivering fun times, basically, instead of activist, a streamer, a performer that should be delivering fun times to say things like this. Felt like it would be dishonest to just keep quiet when there are so many people who believe in me and are waiting for me to join in. So I thought I should explain why I'm taking a break for distribution, including Snow White's condition. After much deliberation, I decided to speak out. I'm truly sorry if this decision makes you feel bad, but that's the situation right now. And I have requests for those who have read this far. Recently, I have witnessed the spread of various speculations because there are people speculating, is she going to graduate? People speculating, is she having a big spat with Nidhi Sanji management? Does she hate Nidhi Sanji management? Etc. Etc. Uh, she's saying, please don't say these things. Uh, under false information about me, Shire Kutomoe, as well as many uh, very unpleasant expressions and comments, please stop. For those that have already been posted, please delete them immediately. I am deeply hurt by this. It is a major factor preventing me from recovering physically and mentally and continuing to work as before. I intend to take appropriate action against malicious comments. What she means by this is people saying, oh, she's going to be graduating soon. Oh, she's been suspended. Oh, she messed up. <clears throat> she did an NDA breach. Or, um, you know, she already put in her, her final two months notice or whatever. And that's what she's, you know, taking a break in order to graduate. That's why she's doing it. Maybe we should be looking at her PL type of thing. No one but her and Nidhi Sanji, the people who she's told the reasons why, know what's going on. It could be a very personal situation. It could be very, you know, various things. It could just be they're tired, burnt out, and that's it. Whatever it ends up being, it is their business, of course. I'm not going to say whether they're going to be graduating or not. The only proof of a graduation, as a lot of people think that it may be, the only proof of this is if they graduate or not. And don't push them to do that either. That's one thing I always have disliked when people push. It's like, oh, you should graduate now. This is a horrible company. You should graduate. Don't do this. Like she said right here, it has hurt her mentally. It has affected her mentally. And yes, I I did list out many things that it, that people have been saying, but I myself haven't said, you know, this is why she's doing it. This is why she's doing that. These are just the things I've said, I've seen and read. And of course, I'm not going to put them on here. I'm just saying, don't go and do that because, you know, just respecting their, uh, their beliefs and what they want. Um, I know people are still going to say, oh, but you're speculating here. No, I'm not speculating saying she's going to be doing anything like this. I'm saying other people have speculated on this. There's a distinct difference on that. I'm reporting on people's speculations, not on me speculating itself. Currently, Shiryuki is working to recover physically and mentally with the help of people she can trust, which is amazing, including any cutter. So at least any cutter is helping, at least from what it seems here. Uh, when her condition improves enough that she can resume streaming, she would like to resume streaming without touching upon any of these issues. So basically, this is saying don't bug her about why she was gone for so long. Don't bug her about the reasons why she took her break. Just be happy that she's back and, of course, enjoy the content. 
At that time, she would like everyone to continue to treat her in the same way as before, like if she was never gone. I sincerely hope the day will come when we can spend happy days together again as before. We are moving forward positively to continue our activities as before, so we would appreciate it if you continue to watch over us. This was a long post, but thank you for reading this far. And of course, I wish them the best, whatever it is, the reasons why they're, they're uh, having what they're having, whatever reasons behind it, again, like I said, it ends up being, she's saying, it's none of your business. Please don't speculate. Just receive me back when it happens. It says, let's go eat some delicious food again. Love it. Manami Aizono is saying as well, I guess they're they're uh, friends or they know each other. Uh, it's in Niji Sanji as well. So I'm guessing, you know, they have talked, they have chatted, they have done that. So it's good to see, you know, Niji Sanji members talking to each other um, and having uh, good experiences. Like I said, this is uh, Manami Aizono, who, uh, according to her bio, belongs to Niji Sanji. So there you go. Good times, and I hope that she's able to recover and she's able to feel good enough, whatever the reasons were behind it, to stream again. Here we go. It's a little bit of a meme culture. It's uh, Niji Sanji EN 50%. The bottom half is right there. Top half is over there. Not Niji Sanji anymore. It's just Niji now, basically. It's not Niji Sanji EN anymore. It's just Niji. Uh, the nerve to imply that my boy Sanji. It's worth one half of Black Company Clear OP, OP is a Zoro fan. LMAO. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So that's a funny one there. This one was a bit of a shock. Uh, I watch Shondo occasionally. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a small fan. I'm not, you know, it's just basically they're there. Uh, they are cute. They do a really good job of knowing what's, you know, how to make the community happy. And they work hard like every single VTuber does. And they had, you know, a bit of a mental health hiatus for a while. They came back and they're doing great. Of course, with a mental health hiatus, you always have downs, ups and downs. They happen all the time. She's been banned, though, again, this time for a very dumb reason. And I will show it to you soon. But let's see what she responded at WTF. Then she goes, no, you are banned. No, you're banned email from either Twitch or partner support. Last time I got an email. Why before the ban went through at least. But this time, nothing. And it says, no way, you didn't check with your community or anybody that you were banned before posting this. Probably had a thousand plus notifications about the ban. Uh, it says, we are making a daughter. Let's relax and draw a cutie patootie. And then other people, it was scheduled. I just woke up. Sorry, Shadow. Like, it's it. Twitch has just done a lot of BS lately. And it says right here, she says, hey, Twitch, Twitch support. What the heck, man? Woke up to being banned. Found out through a Twitter bot. Not because I have received a, you know, an email about it. Never mind why. It And... Why is drinking on stream against TOS now? It's just it's like, it seems drinking on stream is bad. She just has no idea at this point. At this point in time, she had no idea what was going on. So this is just the timeline of it. At this point in time, she had no idea what was going on. She thought it was because she was drinking on stream. Or is it just against the made up second set of rules that my partner manager admitted moderation has for me that I'm not allowed to see or hear about, by the way, because I am a petite woman with a high sock voice using a VTuber model that reflects me IRL. So. Do I at least get to know why I'm banned this time? For how long? Because nobody has told me anything. And this is starting to feel very much like bullying. I don't think it's fair that Roan Rogue Admin, who hates VTubers, gets to play with my career like this. I am legally disabled, and I support six vulnerable family members through streaming. And someone who just doesn't like VTubers gets to keep hurting me and others with no explanation, logic, or reason. While we all know this is a site full of naked women, on the front page okay so yeah of course she's angry of course she's angry um and she says again no email about my ban nothing for my partner manager or the site itself radio silence no details about what the ban is for and why just haha i don't like shondo let's hit the big red button i guess that's at 6 43 a.m as of september 14th and it says this is the worst part about this how can there be no communication to a streamer that's partnered even professional company rely on livelihood it's basically yeah it's just it's dumb she finally received this at 7 15 a.m about a half hour after the last post that I read. There's no effing way. Here is what Twitch sent her. We've reviewed your content, the video, and we've concerned, we're concerned about you. If you're currently struggling or feeling unsafe, please reach out for help. Cause she was being a little bit, she was being um, like vulnerable with her community, which I have, I do as well. I say, you know, I've had bad times. I'm feeling down, I'm feeling this, that type of stuff. And they go and do this. They say, you know, contact for help, etc. cetera. In accordance with our community guidelines and to protect the community, we've removed this content, suicidal or, or self-harm behavior seriously threatens to harm yourself or endanger your life is not allowed on twitch please read our community guidelines to learn more we have a page dedicated to mental health and support and resources this is a breach of our community guidelines we've suspended your account temporarily for 30 days one month suspension for this 
for being vulnerable in front of chat for just mentioning a hey, you know i've had down moments when i felt like not existing that type of thing that 30 days when you have people when you have someone who has literally had relations with their partner on stream like actually nudity and relations with their partner on stream and gotten seven day ban and you put this out for a 30 day ban this doesn't make sense Due to your suspension of 30 days or longer, any subscriptions you may have will not renew. To make changes to your subscription while suspended, please contact us. And of course, Shondo responds saying, hey, DJ Clancy, which is basically the, the CEO of Twitch now. Twitch, Twitch support. I just got a 30 day ban for having three glasses of cream liquor. I'm OK. I'm fine. I'm not even hung over. WTF. Person here says, uh, you did get pretty bad last night. You got thousands of people trying to talk you down from doing something dumb. And um, she's saying, I don't know why you interpreted it that way, but I said the exact opposite of this. Streaming is the reason I am alive today. My community love and support is the reason why I wake up and I feel like I have a reason to keep going. I'm kind of the same way. I am actually very much the same way. Uh, streaming literally saved me. Last night wasn't a cry for help. It was a gratitude. I get I was drunk and a bit of a mess, but I thought that was pretty clear at the time and it still is now. I'm afraid for the future because I always have a niggling about thoughts, niggling thought about like a nagging thought about all of my friends will leave me or everyone will leave me or things will get worse because eventually my meds will stop working. That doesn't mean I want to hurt myself in any way or plan on. But ending myself is absolutely something I have zero plan of ever doing. And after watching the VOD, I don't know where you or a few others got that idea from. It's just untrue. I was drunk, but I wasn't so intoxicated. I had no control of my actions. And I know what I did and didn't say. There's video evidence of it. So she has the VOD. And it says, sorry to say this. It's a little upsetting that you think that's what the stream was. And I'm sorry you interpreted it that way as I'm unsure of what was worrying, but that blatantly wasn't what was happening or what I was expressing at all. Don't listen to those mean people, Shadow, they don't know what they are talking about. Ignore them. 100% innocent and drinking on stream is totally fine. Don't let the mean people get to you. You're innocent. I didn't say anything mean. Wasn't talking about you. Oh, okay. And so the peer began attacked by several others for being concerned for her. So it was easy misunderstanding. Of course, misunderstandings happen. Uh, they always always have misunderstandings like this unfortunately it does happen with all due respect i don't think twitch mods care yeah i don't think twitch mods care for the most part they don't uh they just get reports and he reports about someone who is not um the best way not liked because apparently they really don't like shondo they you know reports of not being liked and that kind of stuff it's just it looks really bad it honestly looks really bad um and that is like like the person says here hey the streamer said the streaming has saved her life and made her not have any suicide thoughts that's the literal most evil thing on earth to take away her ability to stream for 30 days. Like, let's take her reason for existing in some cases. This is just dumb. And I apologize for this being a bit long, but this really got to me. This really got to me because I, I absolutely understand how she feels. S streaming saved my life. Streaming saved me. And it has made me want to continue doing more. That's why I'm on the grind every single day making videos. That's why I'm on the grind every single day putting out content, streaming, etc. Playing games with you guys and everything because I love what I do. If you remember several days ago, I covered Anisama, Anisama V, which is a singing uh, concert that's going to be happening. It's going to be a performance. Uh, it's going to be happening with various VTubers. The ones that they had, the big one that they had available before, like shown on their teaser trailer was Mio, Mio, Okami Mio. And now they're showing others. These are all the ones who are going to be there. We have all the way here, uh, Asano Rudi which is affiliated with Crocodile. I guess that's a, the company she's affiliated with. She is a V singer as well. VTuber slash V singer. Uh, born in Shikawa Prefecture, has appeared in the most works in the V industry, appeared in TV anime, Goodbye Dragon Life, Hello Life, broadcast in October. So she had an appearance there. She's even been in anime. Then we have Amane Kanata, who, you know, needs no introduction. She is the PP Tenchi, the 50 kilogram, whatever grip strength gorilla <laughs> Tenchi. Uh, she has like 50 kilograms of grip strength, which is a lot. I think it's even more grip strength than what I have. Then we have Okami Mio, which is Mio Mama, as she's called with Hololive. We have other people out here too. Patra, who has become very popular recently, has done a lot of wonderful things. I've covered some of the things they've done in the past as well. And we also have here, which is Yui Hizuki, first generation member of Neo Porte. Uh, she does singing and keeps a Poseidon on her chest. Then we have, of course, Yuni, which is another V singer. A TV anime, Okashina Tensei, ending theme, Fumizeka. So she's done an ending theme song for an anime, which is humongous among everybody who is a V singer or in a VTuber period. And finally, we have VWP, the virtual witch phenomenon. 
Kafu Rime Haruzarubi uh, Isekaijo Kore Five Cyber Witches. Ha I probably mispronounced more than half of them. Uh, I apologize for that. Five Cyber Witches have come together. A new story has finally begun. The five girls born from Kamitsubaki are fatefully interwoven by a witch phenomenon. The strongest virtual artist group, VWP, has now been born. They started in March 2021, or at least they're, they're um, on Twitter on March 2021. And that is Anisama. It is going to be happening, I believe, in December. Uh, who will be the artist appearing in the second installment? This is this just them announcing it. It is huge. It is a huge thing to have these names there. They all appear to be huge in the V-Singer aspects of it and that is why they were chosen of course they have good connections and we're able to get it and i'm proud and i'm happy to say that i'm a part of the vtuber culture that creates wonderful things like this and i love pushing positive news and pushing positive things yes there's drama here and there but positive things like this of them all getting opportunity to sing on stage with each other and i believe it's going to be uh by spwn spawn is doing their 3d i believe this is a full 3d concert if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but from what i remember this was done by spawn like spawn is going to be doing their 3d stuff and it's going to be a full 3d concert which is amazing hopefully there won't be any twitter warriors creating twitter spats again because as you remember we had an issue before with uh rosami and mcdonald's japan rosami ended up just using some assets that mcdonald's japan used uh, created with hash browns and such and they were like oh my god this and this and that and then we also had twitter warriors if you remember correctly twitter warriors were also having the issue with uh scarla and starbucks because you know other political stuff that i won't get into people love putting a lot of political things out there i won't get into that because i'm a vtuber i'm not a political commentator I will, I'll, I'll let you guys deal with it if you guys want to, but I won't get into it. But they're talking about Bekora right now in regards to her having a post with McDonald's Japan. It says, we all know what they're going to do. They're going to get mad at it for a couple days or a week and move on to the next thing. They really act as if they, anyone actually cared. Yeah, they, they, like, they don't really care. They just want to virtue signal is what it's called. That's what they want to do. Can't attack Pekora, they just like they can't attack Marine. Looks like what happened when they tried to slander Suisse. She hit back hard. Those hollow streamers are too big for these DG chuds to handle. How life is an escape from reality for a lot of people, me included. Bringing politics into something that is supposed to be supposed to be an escape tends to be discouraged. And I doubt that neither the talents or cover will allow that to affect them, which is smart. It's smart to not allow that to affect them. Gotta be really dumb if you want to attack any hollow life girls. Absolutely. And it started. So people already finding out Pekka is doing McDonald's collab and livers are retweeting it. Again, people crying already, crying in the chat. Yago, don't go, don't got internet. Oh God, already you're having people. So it's already started. We've already seen the negativity. And it's like people here, it's like brains, 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 brains. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, there's no brains. There's no brains there. Oh, let's get this Tsukimi burger. Oh, Tsukimi burger. Oh my goodness, that's that's probably a Japan exclusive. Gosh darn, it's always the plan of Japan exclusives. But yeah, people already. I saw a horse with a form snout. Then I saw Pekora holding a weapon to her head, and now I realize it's just her bald, her her braids. <laughs> uh, people are creating ideas of what it is. Please, they're not going to attack Pekora. That's too big of a target. Some people will. They don't really care. Uh, sisters can't handle the war criminal rabbit. She already sent watermelon bombs into their homes. Yes, the the uh, war criminal rabbit is going to probably not even. Like, they're not even going to care. I don't even think Pekora's going to care. Pekora's just going to be like, hey, this is a collab. I'm not going to be political. I'm not even going to respond to your stuff. They tend, uh, Hollow Life really does really well in tending not to respond to these types of things until it gets out of hand. Then Hollow Life itself will respond and not the livers themselves. Matarakan is celebrating 11 months minus two days in Vishojo to the Momos and to her. And she was able to commission a wonderful piece of work from Maple Sites for the Incredible Arts. And Maple Sites says, thank you again for letting me work with you, Matara. And this is the work here. Matara pretty much as like a Japanese, this is like Japanese uh, kindergarten type of work. I know because of the hats, the hats are kind of like Japanese kindergarten, preschool type of thing. Um, and she's basically has the Momos right there with the crack in the back. Hilarious. Momo stuff in the back. Lesson one, live, laugh, and lactate. Oh, God. Live, love, lactate. That live, laugh, lactate. That is something that uh, I think it's a meme that she did a long time ago. And uh, it's very cute. 
it's very cute. Very glad to see that she's having fun with her momos. And of course, we have uh, Maple Sites that says, I was given the wonderful opportunity to work on a wallpaper for Matara and her momos. Thank you so much. Hope everyone likes it. It is beautiful. It's well made. Matara is very happy. Uh, pouring honey on you, my goat. Bah, feed me with the baby bottle. <laughs> Love it. Everyone loves it. It is very cute. It is extremely cute. And it is great that someone like Matara has been able to have fun and able to, when they're out of Hollywood, if you know what that means, if you know, you know, if they're out of Hollywood, then they've been able to have a lot more fun with Momos, create a community of people who uh, are there with her through thick and thin and people that she can recognize, like Michi Mochi V also mentioned, people you can recognize, people you feel a little bit closer to because, you know, it's independent. It's a little bit different than in a large company where you just feel like a cog in the machine. So I'm very happy for her and congratulations on that. Annie Live, as you know, is a VTubing app that um, has popped out recently. Nexus uses them a lot and it's pretty much their primary platform. Of course, Nexus talents can go on YouTube and do other platforms if they so wish, which is never a bad idea because diversifying your content is actually almost always recommended. Here we have Annie Live with their virtual Nessan. Ayomi Onesan is on Annie Live. Follow and get a notification when she goes live. And here is the model, very, very cute, with, uh, it looks like cyber ears here. Uh, it says, um, continuing on, you got games on your phone? Now you can have virtual Onesan on your phone too. I'll be streaming, uh, debuting on Any Life today. So when this came out, which is actually uh, a couple days ago by this time, and this gets out, they are debuting. And um, validating the Anilife debut, Chibi debuted during my four year Twitch partner anniversary. So they've been going on before. They just started debuting into Anilife. Chibi model, new BRB screen, new alerts, uh, subathon quests, and goals, and more. So here we have uh, Ayumi Onesan. She revealed her brand new Life 2D Chibi model. So she got it through. And there you go. Here's subathon goals and info, new Chibi model alerts. And she has everybody who's done them. And here's the milestones for the subathons. And she has extreme goals, of course, as everyone does, because who doesn't want to get 3,000 subs? And of course, uh, the timers, 100 bits is one minute. She also has the timers with TTS on, all those things popping out, and a cute little chibi model there. And that is what we have right now for Ayumi, and I wish them well. And of course, since they are only on Twitch and everything, you can catch them on Twitch or any live, whichever one you want. Bit of a Sayu update. She found... Um, Rings of plastic, rings of, of latex. I'll just call that, call it that. You can see what it is there, but uh, rings of latex is what we'll call them. Uh, behold them in all their greatness. God, I love little Kuribo. Uh, and there we go here. There is uh, screw girls that have protection. Only come in one size ultimate because we don't want another Mokuba running around. <laughs> They're ribs so you can defeat Yugi just in case she activates your trap card. Hilarious. I love this. Um, that's a piece of history right there. The things you find when you declutter. Also, the fact that there's one missing makes me wonder who, who, who could have had, what quota could have had. Kaiba condom, you're a third rate hentai enjoyer with a fourth rate condom. Uh, only come besides ultimate. Those, that's, yeah, those, this is just freaking hilarious. I love when Sayu has these, these wonderful moments. Of course, this is just like a Sayu update, a little bit of Sayu fun times. So you can, you know, relax and not have to worry about your life. Just see what Sayu has to offer. Because we don't want another Mokuba running around, that was that one was hilarious. Your third rate gooner with a fourth rate condom. Wait, what? Kaiba, screw the rules, I have condoms. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Those little uh lovely circles of protection that ha are made of latex. Yes. A creation of humankind meant to prevent more humankind from happening. Well, at least I think they're like 90% effective or something like that at preventing more humans from existing. But we'll see. We'll see. I think. The reason these things are probably like the, 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 the things she has are probably like three, four years old, or they may be many, many, many years old. Uh, cause she said she doesn't have a synchro night of her own with her. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Welcome back everybody to today's VTuber showcase, where we go and take a look at wonderful VTubers from everywhere on the internet. This is a way for me to give back to the wonderful community that has given so much to me. A bit of paying it forward and sharing the love. And giving as much love as I can to small VTubers who are trying to grow just like I am. Today we're doing Amadia. Amadia or Amadia? I think it's Amadia. Uh, VTuber who is 18 plus, of course, professional yapper, horror games model. They're Cyber Flower VTuber. Let's check out their content. Their bot section says, I'm like other girls and I cannot fix you. Uh, but hey, I guess it's fun hanging out with me. Celestial Spirit deciding to take on a new form. Let me help you relax or lose your mind. We'll see. Uh, you can also call me Dia. 
a celestial soul that used to reside inside a flower on Earth in order to help my beloved humans and ease their minds. Times have changed, so I decided to take on a new form and reach you all by uploading myself onto the internet. Come hang out. So that's what they have here, which is wonderful. I like I like the the, the, the lore there. God, what's that one pink sauce called again? That that one content creator made. Pink sauce. Yeah, the pink sauce. What is it called? Pink sauce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. For some reason, the audio on Twitch wasn't working, which is strange. That's why I switched over to the YouTube side. Apologize for that a little bit. But uh, thank you so much, Amadia, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. And of course, I will have all of their socials down below so you can check them out and see if it's someone that you want to watch and someone that you want to support. Thank you so much. I really do hope that this helps you grow. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.